Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and I do need to get this out first. Um, this, once again, this is probably, I'm going to try to make this a rush job. Um, I'm, hopefully I don't go, go too over long. Um, why? Um, throughout the night, I've been having, a have been having a connectivity issues, I guess that'd be the word I'm looking for. Um, it's just, my connection, my connection's been resetting throughout the evening and throughout the night. I'd be in the middle of doing something and all of a sudden, it's just, my, um, uh, it's not my, um, uh, I don't, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Not my modem, but I, I think my router, I got, I think I have a modem and a router as well. It's what, um, uh, it's what the Wi-Fi is connected to, I believe. But, uh, that keeps resetting. So, so I figured, um, but, uh, if my connection's been okay here the past few hours. I haven't had any problems, but I don't really want to take any chances right now. So, it's, um, 2.44 a.m. right now, so normally, normally I try to start these around somewhere between 3 to 3.30. But again, because I want to get, I want to get this taken care of and get it all uploaded and everything before, uh, my connection starts turning to shit again. So, so, anyway... Oh, and um, I do have a, I do have a fair amount to cover, and um, there's gonna be a bunch of moving parts on this, so uh, just if I start screwing up, don't be surprised. <sighs> okay, and for the music, this is gonna be uh, Skullgirls, uh, Learning One's Craft. This is the music they play during the tutorial. Um, it's a uh, for those that don't know, it's a fighting game. It has my favorite um. It's got my favorite soundtrack, since um, jazz is my favorite music genre. Um, but um, otherwise, gameplay not really into. It's it's a it's for the most part a team-based game. You gotta you gotta pick a three-man team and then go at it. But unlike Dragon Ball Fighters, having three people on your team is only a plus, not a requirement. Um, and otherwise, aside from that, with the the games. The game's pretty heavy with motion inputs. You're basically churning butter. Yeah, you're basically you're churning butter with your analog stick or D-pad or whatever. So, not really into it that much. And then there's and then there's the fan service. And then there's the uh, there's the. I still haven't found the right word for the animation. I, I'll probably just say too much. It's like a, it's like a Newgrounds game in HD, but it. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not my cup of tea. So, but again, again, aside or again, aside from that, uh, my favorite fighting game soundtrack. So, so let me let me go ahead and rewind this back. Okay, now, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this up a bit from my end. Okay. All right, so. To start with, well, yesterday's pinball session actually went pretty good. This time around, I decided to just go ahead and um, and not do pinball arcade at all, since uh, I've been having some bad luck with it. Yeah, I've been having some bad luck with it, just basically on a cold streak. So I decided to go ahead and try Zachariah instead. wasn't really wasn't really that much into the game into Zachariah, it just, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not one to shy away from a pinball challenge, but it's, the, the tables in there are, like, too unnecessarily hard, um, I've said this in my other cast, too, it's like they were designed by Rube Goldberg or something, they're just, real, the tables are, like, really nonsensical, I think that's the word I'm looking for, Well, I guess, I guess a lack of flow. I think that's what I'm looking for. But I figure, you know, what the hell? Why not? Um, and um, what am I? Um, what am I? Regulars, Jake Ryan. He actually gifted me a bunch of um, a bunch of postal themed tables. In fact, I think I'm gonna have this up and running. So.
Oh, uh, I need to do something real quick. I gotta put the music on pause. Nope. Postal Redux. Okay, there it goes. Deluxe. Deluxe. Okay, so the sound does work on this. Oh, and um, the other problem I was having with this game is um, kind of like Path of Exile, and um, what was the other one? Or I'll just say Path of Exile. Um, they they just barely run on my computer. So it causes a lot of lag spikes and stuff. I was having the same problem with this game too, but it does become kind of an eyesore. Because I, you know, just the whole, the whole black screen. But I had to turn the backgrounds off. Okay, yeah, but yeah, the sound does work. I forgot, I, I had the, I had the music turned, I got the music turned off on this. But one thing I did discover, whatever the extra, they got um, they got different modes in here. Um, they have story mode. Um, where uh, yo, it kind of goes in chronological order. Um, you'll play a you'll play a table until you get the until you get that one achievement on that table. And then you'll advance to the next one. Um, and you get a... Uh, it's a... Uh, you get like 100 seconds of play time. And you get a bunch of balls as well. Uh, multiplayer. I... I guess you can do a uh, one-on-one head-to-head uh, tournament. I checked this out, but... Uh, I guess you get a... Uh, Unlike tournaments on FX3, there's only one. There's only uh, one table at a time. So yeah, there's a bunch of different modes on here. Campaign mode. Okay. So it just... Hey, it looks like there's a... There's an RPG element to it, too. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Yeah. Completion. Then we got uh! <laughs> Zombie Invasion Pinball. Oh. Oh God. Oh. <sighs> There's a. I wish I knew the name of the table. Back in the 80s, it wasn't even, it's not even a traditional uh, flipper table at all. What you have instead is a gun. It's a gun, like a, like in the middle, it shoots pinballs. And there's these uh, orange lights that start from the top and work their way down towards the uh, bottom of the table. You have to, you have to uh, shoot, shoot over these lights before they get to the bottom of the table and kill you. I wish I knew the name of it. Oh, yeah, that zombie base kind of reminds me of that. And then I guess Zachary has pinball or uh, video games too, although I'm not going to play any of these. Um, I'm pretty sure my uh, my computer is already pretty well maxed out with all the uh, windows and the fact that this game is running and all that, so, so yeah, I don't want to tax it any more than necessary. Let's see what we got here. Oh, damn! Artwork, shapes, text, patterns, and radiance are real. Okay. So they're really trying to help us get some mileage out of this game. Okay. Maybe if I would have known about this sooner, I'd have been playing this game a lot longer. But yeah, um, look to me to be uh, playing Zachariah more often. Now, 
Oh, I don't want to quit. I guess I could probably show you a show you a sample. But uh, I I don't want to take too long on this. Tropical. Yeah. You know, but I'm only gonna do like a one ball. Again, my computer's probably already taxed enough as it is. Not to mention, uh, the animation going on right now has got to jack up the file size of this thing. Yeah, I guess that's, that's, uh, not as bad example. Sinistar. Sinistar. I just, I just want to show you a sample of what I got to deal with. Well, there we go. There's, well, that's one example. No ball save on these tables. Except on the uh, more modern ones. drop targets that don't even drop. And then there's... There's a little bit of lag there, but again, I got a whole bunch of windows going on at once. So... But anyway, the main... The main goal I wanted to show was just the, um... Was just the extras. Postal tables, and then the extras. So, okay. And um, another thing I discovered last night too. This um, this came up on my YouTube recommendations. Um, it's another. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Um, her name's Janet. And, uh, kind of like what I showed yesterday, like, game test play. She's, uh, she mainly does, like, retro stuff. But, uh, one thing that definitely struck me. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to actually play this, but, uh, if you could see over here, U.S. Championship Volleyball, or V-Ball, she did a she did a playthrough. She did a playthrough of this. This is a game that I used to play back in the 80s. It was like a roll butt. It was like a button masher. Like you know, like if you want to spike the ball, you you mash the button super fast to build up power. Yeah, I screwed up my fingers pretty bad while I was playing this. But I saw this, watched this, I'm like cool. So I decided to check her out and a lot of retro and also. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but she's been creating content for quite a long time. 12 years. Uh, Street Fighter 4. So, 2010. So, right back at Street Fighter 4's heyday. And, um, and I think this was also back when, uh, there was a 10, there was a 10 minute time limit on YouTube videos. So that's why these are all so short. MSX, it's a classic. Funko versus the racks. The junk and arcade. But yeah, you can look at some serious history here. But yeah, I definitely sub to this person. Um, I think there's all another thing I do definitely want to show about her. Might have to work at this a little bit. This. And this is a... 
I'm not gonna pause. Mocap boxing. This is another game we used to play like back in the back in the 90s or 2000s. Oh, and also, unlike a lot of other Japanese content creators, she does have English translations out of stuff. Yeah, it looks like she does everything herself. Yeah, this is really gonna jack up my file size. But um, what she's demonstrating here, again, mocap boxing. But yeah, she, like, like I said, she engineers everything herself. But yeah, um, let me let me try to explain further. Mocap boxing, um, it's kind of a precursor to the Wii. You know, like the batons, you know, the motion sensing batons. Mocap boxing has is, is what it had it. You know, it senses you ducking, it senses you dodging, it senses you punching, you know, hooks, uppercuts, jabs, and whatnot. It senses all that. But yeah, like I said, I played this back in, uh, back in like the 90s or 2000s. Fucked up my arms pretty bad, too. It's sore as hell. I think I might have hurt my neck, too, from all the ducking. But, yeah, definitely going to be watching more of her videos. Holy shit, I've already gone over long. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty much at the whole meat of this, but... Luckily, my my internet hasn't cut out on me, so that's good. And then, um... Whoops. And this is something else. Now, I'm not... A, no. I've, uh... I've always scratched the surface as far as fighting games go, so I really have no dog in this fight, but this does kind of have me curious. Um, so apparently, uh, for, um, like, the Capcom Pro Cup, Capcom Tour, um, you know, I mean, Capcom's legendary for the, you know, Street Fighter. Well, apparently now, in order to, in order to organize a tournament using their games, you have to get a license now. Yeah, you have to you have to get permission and all that. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. So yeah, so basically you now have to get official permission from them in order to run them. And um Let me out. This one here is the uh, Cliff Notes version by a guy named David Graham. But, uh, I mean, there's already six hoops that they now have to jump through in order to, in order to hold the tournament while using one of their games. Now, again, I don't... I mean, the tournament thing kind of goes kind of goes over my head. But, um, I, I just I remember me um I watched a pin I watched the uh I watched a pinball video uh called Straight Down the Middle these two guys um in the earlier ones that I was, I was watching they were cursing you know they were curse they would curse and swear freely but they weren't doing it like sailors or anything like that um the I think it's one of their latest ones that I was watching they now have to censor what they say. And in fact, they were uh, they were kind of upfront about it too. Well, I'm I'm trying not to I'm not trying to say the swear word because I don't want to get in trouble. It's like all of a sudden they started doing this. And let me you know let me rewind back a bit. Um, no, I'm not I'm not pro swearing per se, but you know if if you've got a curse, just do it. You know, but it kind of. 
so it kind of it kind of pisses me off when you know swearing gets censored. I mean, I think I said this in another cast. It it, it does kind of it does kind of relate to to this article here. Believe me. Um, wait, you know, I just you know it may it makes your video sound horrible. All the beep 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 beep. beep you know, all the swearing getting bleeped out or best case scenario. You know, they won't they won't use sound effects instead they will just simply mute out the swear words so your sounds like a roll uh, cut out it, and it sounds annoying as this you know it kind of makes you wonder if you have a bunch of sound issues or something like it's a bunch of like, like that it, it just I mean even that sounds pretty bad. So, but, um, one of the reasons why they do that, I know, um, I think Panda Fighting Games, it's a fighting game channel, um, they bleep them out just for sponsorship reasons. Like, yeah, well, we'll sponsor you, but, um, we're also gonna bleep out all your swear, all your swearing. So, that kind of thing, I think it's part of the contract. So, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the censorship, I mean, at the time I said this in my other cast, it, it, I didn't think about it at the time, but, um, the, um, the censorship is part of the contract. Like, if somebody wants to sponsor you, they're gonna, they, uh, bleep out your swearing. Um, I think, um, oh, what was it? And, um, uh, I think, um, uh, I think for some of the uh, YouTube content creators, same thing. They can't swear, otherwise, uh, oh, well, the YouTube, uh, YouTube pulls their licensing or something like that. I don't, I don't remember the exact specifics, but yeah, they're generally they have to either not swear or be uh, all their swearing is gonna get bleeped out, and it's just gonna make the make the video sound really bad, but. I thought I, that reading this, or no, when I first saw this, I haven't read any of this. It just kind of harkened back to what I was saying a few casts ago. You know, it just it kind of they kind of parallel each other. So, but I guess I I don't want to be on here that that much longer. Like I said, I basically went over long on this. I was hoping to keep it short, but it didn't happen. So, I mean... All tournament organizers, regardless of size. This is going to kill the local scene right here. You know, the, the small ma and pa tournaments. You know, free to enter, grand prize, 100 bucks or something like that. So... So, I can tell already this is going to be a problem. I mean, yeah, major, major tournaments like Capcom and Evil... They got no problems putting the bill. I mean, they're taking in so damn much money, no big deal to drop in the bucket. But, you know, Billy Boss, local bar, grill, hosting their Street Fighter tournament. You know, I mean, you know, the bar up the street hosting one of these. They're going to have a problem with this. Now, unless it's like a, if it's just a percentage of the gate or something like that, it'd be less of an issue. But if it's just going to be a flat amount, I mean, that's going to cripple the locals. And I don't get this one at all. And if I'm guessing right... Oh, that was another thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me rewind back a bit. Um, FGC Destroyer, he, um, he hosts Mortal Kombat tournaments. There was a, there was one video that he had on there, or at least one, where I think he was sent, I think he was censoring his own swearing, and uh, some of the fatalities in there, or hell, all the fatalities, all the brutalities were edited out. So I, and I'll bet, I'll bet again that was probably due to, that was that was probably due to his sponsors, and or the, uh, the uh, YouTube license, kind of getting in the way there. All that has to be cut out. In fact, now that I think about it, 
No, no, no. I was about to say, um, usually for these tournaments, whenever um, one opponent defeats the other, you get finished him. They'll just do like a quick sweep or something, quick punch to the face or whatever, just to end the match. I, at the time, I was thinking maybe that's why they were doing that, because they weren't allowed to do fatalities on those. Otherwise, again, again, um, people start pulling their sponsorships and and uh, his videos can't be monetized now. That's what I was looking for, monetization. So I'm uh, taking another drink. You know, I could have almost made a whole separate video on this. But luckily, my internet's still up, so... So... But, um, going back to what I was saying here, I think a lot of these... Um, a lot of these, the prize pools, a lot of them are actually donations. I, I want to say, uh, yeah, there were a lot of them are fundraised. I mean, they're not all. It's not always the entry fee is what covers the uh, covers the, covers the prize pool. A lot of the prize pools, like I said, is uh donations, like you know, kickstarters and fundraisers and whatnot. So. You're basically gonna kill the incentive for those for those fund raiders raisers to exist. Cause total event prize pulls and revenue from sponsors must now be under thresholds. You're gonna cripple the scene doing that. Basically, lots of people out there wanna donate to these tournaments. You know, they you know, I guess you know, they actually wanna pay entry fees. You know, especially if they know that the entry fees are going towards the prize pool. They actually want to pay those, so number two is going to kill the scene. Just you know, there's no incentive now. But um, sell merchandise based on Street Fighter Five games, logos, and art. This, I don't know why they want to do something like this, because I mean. Selling the merch, I mean, it only helps them. It's like free advertising. Not like they need it or anything, but you get the idea. If this pro this I do have a problem with. Now... Have there been people doing this? If so, then yeah, that shit needs to stop. Like, charging somebody just to be able to watch and not participate. Now, if you're talking like, um... I'm also assuming that a spectator fee is separate from the entry fee. I mean, that's a fucking ripoff right there. I mean, if you're uh, if you gotta pay just to walk in the door, and then you have to pay an extra fee just to watch, yeah, that's a scam right there. And uh, and the implication with this statement here is, I guess there's tournaments out there where they do that, like they're they're double dipping into the people's pockets charging them an entry fee and then a spectator fee on top of it so yeah I'm, I'm, in that context yeah I'm total with Capcom on this um if I'm understanding number four here correctly Capcom gets the right to use stream footage and any photos and videos from the tournament now If they, um, if at face value, then yeah, that's not an issue. Now, now, if by use, they really mean confiscate or take away stream footage, then yeah, I'd have a problem with that. You're gonna, again, you're gonna, you're gonna kill the, you're gonna kill the tournament scene by that. In fact, uh, Nintendo, now that I think about it, Nintendo pulled, They've been pulling this shit for years. Like back at uh, Super Smash Brothers. Whenever somebody would organize a tournament, Nintendo would tell them to shut, would send them a cease and desist. No, oh, that ain't happening. They would, you know, threaten lawsuits and stuff. Um, there's also been numerous occasions where, um, for the times that they actually could get a Smash tournament going, um, Nintendo would tell them that they weren't allowed to stream it. If, if, if this, 
is what that is, then yeah, I'm totally against it. You're gonna, you're gonna kill the scene doing that. Um. Oh, and for those that don't know, TO, TOs, that's short for tournament organizers. Okay. Sorry, sorry I didn't explain that earlier. They can use an asset pack, um, advertise the event. I don't know what that means. As long as they abide by a Capcom style guide. I think they've been doing this in uh, NASCAR for years, like, for, uh, for sponsors. Like, when you see all the decals and whatnot on their cars and on their uniforms and stuff like that. It, last I read, that they're not throwing in there at random. They're not throwing in there haphazardly. Like, each sponsor wants their decal on a specific car, on a specific part of a car slash person. So, that, based on that, that's been going on for years. So, it, it's a non-factor here. only applies to TOs in North America, Central America, and South America. Yeah, I think, uh, at a glance, I think Europe, uh, Europe, Asia, and all that, they have their own set of rules. Also put up an identical license to plan to Europe. Middle East, Africa, so it apply there as well. Okay. Okay, so, just like the Jessica Wildfire article yesterday, and yeah, I did read the whole thing, awesome stuff um this is something i'm probably gonna have to read on my own time so but but yeah like i like i said i went way over long on this i'm just i'm just glad the internet was still running if it would have cut out on me i'd have been hosed i'd have probably had to do a short short mess short uh short video message saying well sorry guys i tried to make a cast video but internet went kaput so so did my video so, um, not gonna be able to do one this time, so see you next time, bye. You know, something like that, but, no. Okay, but otherwise, that, that was, that was pretty much, uh, all I had this morning. And like I said, I went way over long on this. I was originally intending on this to be in lasting no more than 15 minutes. But, like I said, I guess I kind of, <laughs> I guess I kind of overachieved. So... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Not quite the button I was wanting. Yeah, I totally forgot I had my uh, soundboard, too. So, Oh, well. Uh, but otherwise, like I said, that's going to do it. So um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, and this will be my last one for the week. It's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, that's, that's, my, that's my work week, so... You won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.